everybody, it's me, Wace, and Johnny Ty with the Kuma Survival School. I'm out here in Elburn, Illinois, visiting a company that I do a lot of work with. The company is called Controlled Force, and I'm with one of the managing partners and directors, Mr. Tony Grano. We're just going to take five, six minutes, talk about Controlled Force, what they do, and how they train the protectors of the United States. Tony, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, Johnny. How are you doing? Good, good. So anyway, obviously I'm out here at the office, yeah. and I just wanted to talk to everyone out, out there about exactly what it is that Controlled Force does. Controlled Force is a law enforcement military training company that has been training self-defense tactics basically for law enforcement and military for close to 20 years now. About 20 years. Now, an interesting thing about Controlled Force that's very important to know is that it's a woman-owned company. We have women minority owned, yes. Minority owned. You do a lot of GSA contracts, yep, a lot overseas, of GSA. Yep. and I'm a certified instructor with it a lot, with Controlled Force. A lot of people don't know that, but I'm a certified instructor. Uh, I travel around, I do a lot of work with these guys using the tactics, using the mock system. Uh, what exactly can you talk about the mock system a little bit? Sure. Uh, like we, we have different levels of training. The level one training is basically uh, for non compliant subjects, not the ones that's fighting with you, but the ones that don't comply the way you ask them to comply. Which and is a lot so, of them. So it's, yeah, you're, exactly. So <laughs> you're, you're kind of being forced to go hands-on to some degree. You can't beat them up or hurt them, but you need to get them under control and put them in a, into arrest. Then we have something called a level two, which is, deals with the aggressive attacker. That's the one that comes after you, uh, not the one that squares off, but the one that complies and complies, and then tries to rip your head off at the last right, second. the active fighter. Yeah, exactly. So the objective with that one is to get, you know, protect yourself and then get them under control and, uh, and arrest it again without injuring them again. It's always about the how much level of force you're allowed to use in law enforcement training. Okay, so law enforcement training, why is it important for departments to find companies like Controlled Force and utilize the services that you have to offer? Well, you know, we live in a world of, of cameras. Everybody has a cell phone, and what basically okay. happens is that, uh, you, know, you, you know, somebody will see somebody go, you know, maybe go tear an officer's head off. They're going to punch him in the face. Mm -hmm. And you know, then you go, oh, look at that. The guy just attacked the cop. He pulls out his cell phone and starts hitting the video button. But by that time, the only thing he's seen is the officer putting the guy under arrest. Right. So right. Being the officer the aggressor. Yeah. So there's always a liability issue in training. So we're a very liability conscious training company. A lot of the things he's talking about is lawsuits. There's a lot of cameras out there. Officers are always subject to being the bad guy on camera. They never get the good guy on camera. They do, but seldom. But controlled force training teaches those levels of force to these officers so departments can say our men, our officers are certified in a program right. that follows everything to a T that minimizes lawsuits and litigation. That is correct, and that's what the system's designed to do. But you have to maintain uh, effectability as well. Officer because, safety is key. Exactly, you know. Of course. So, I mean, if it doesn't work, then what's the use of teaching it to them? So our stuff has been proven, it's street proven, it's military proven, it's overseas proven. In fact, uh, we just did a team out of uh, Fort Hood. They, uh, uh, it was a pre-deployment for the military. Every one of them made it back from Afghanistan alive. So obviously the training works. And if it works for them, it'll work for our law enforcement here in the state. And can you talk about what's, what you have going on overseas at all? You know, we have, yeah, to some degree we can. There's, uh, we're running some training programs out in the Middle East right now. And uh, in fact, we're looking, we've been training and certifying people to go out there because they have to be very culture awareness mm -hmm. on the cultures and how they live out there and uh, uh, we're training the law enforcement out in the Middle East and uh, and we're developing instructors to go out there and do that for us right now. Yeah, you know everyone that knows me I have about 40 years in martial arts I've done it all in the martial arts world and I was attracted to the controlled force system and the mock system and the program here simply because it works and I, I train a lot of I've been in law enforcement I've done security uh, I, I work with a lot of officers now and teams and uh, this is the program that I found that works the best with what I do simply because it adapts and works very very well into other companies or other teams or previous or prior trainings toolboxes. So controlled force is something that someone with a lot of previous experience or even minimal experience can take and make it work. That is correct. That is correct. And like you, I mean, you, 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 know, you know what you're looking at. You know what you're going for. Right. I've known you for quite a few years. I mean, right. well over 25 years. I've known who you yes, were sir. and your background, your muscle, your training abilities, and so forth. So having you on board with us is a, a blessing for us as well because you do know how Thank to you. teach. You do know how to train, and you do recognize that we are one of the top training systems in the country. Right. And we're proud of that fact. If not the world. If not the world. And, there you and, go. And, well, even 
Even the world is starting to know that. That's why they're trying to bring in all my trainers to the Middle East right now. Sure, correct. Right. So. I mean, obviously, if you're working international in the Middle East, it is, it is a global training program yes. now. And that's very important to recognize. And so I wanted to come out here and spend a couple of moments with you, introduce Tony to you. He does have a Facebook page, which is under Controlled Force. And it's Controlled Force F.O.R.C.E. Right. right. And the website is? controlledforce.com right okay so all it's one word controlledforce.com I'm gonna post that right here controlledforce.com for you guys to check out there'll be clips to the videos obviously if you work for a department if you are what, uh, a person that makes decisions at these departments like law enforcement police departments federal agencies whatever if you're a defensive tactics instructor and you have decision making check us out we'd be happy to send you all the information you'd be looking for or contact Johnny Johnny will be able to talk to you directly and let and give you everything you need to set up courses and get the training classes okay hopefully we'll get to see you guys and your team in classes if you're an individual that's in law enforcement or security you could also contact Tony at controlled force Everyone has a chance to check out this training uh, online. There are videos, and obviously with the Facebook page and other social medias, there's, if you have a question, it can be answered directly. Uh, so you could ask for Tony Grano or Diana Grano, right. who is, what is her um, role with the company? She's the director of operations, and she's also the CEO of the company. And she's reachable. So that's yes, very important. So when you want to work with a company that's got the head of the company, the CEO, that you can get on the phone and talk to and ask questions to about what they could do for you, your team, or your department, it's important that you can reach that person. And I'll tell you right now, this is a small company that's doing big things. So again, um, my name is Wason Johnny Tai. I'm with the Kuma Survival School. This is with Mr. Tony. Tony Grano? What happened? I don't know. I lost sounds for some reason on the last 30 seconds of this video. I lost sound. Anyway, I'm wasting Johnny Ty. That's Tony Grano. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Tony. I can't redo it. Sorry. Anyway, if you would like to learn more information about the Kuma Survival School, just visit www.kumasurvivalschool.com. That's www.cumasurvivalschool.com. That's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Until next time, I'm Wason Johnny Tai with the Kuma Survival School. As always, stay safe, stay sharp, stay alive. They say that if it works, don't.